What's up, fiends? Alucard here, and I'm back with another movie haul for you. This time I have stuff from Hamilton Book, Second in Charles, and SRS Cinema. Let's do this. All right, so first up, I'm going to do the Hamilton book stuff because it's the least amount of stuff that I got. Um, first up, I got a crazy little movie, Mechanical Violator, Hakiter. Yep, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, anyway, it's one of these like crazy Japanese. Uh, he's not a mech, but he's like a like a. I don't know. It's kind of like a like a robot hybrid man thing, kind of like RoboCop. Kinda, sorta, from what I've gathered. I haven't watched it yet. It seems pretty cool, though. Uh, super, like, cyberpunkish, and it's put out by Media Blasters, um, you know, who usually puts out some pretty cool stuff. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. All right, next up, I actually got a TV show that I really, really enjoyed, and it's only two seasons, and uh, I really wish it would have lasted longer. And I'm talking about Outsiders. Uh, this was a really cool little show about these people that like live on the mountain and they uh, they don't mingle with the city folk and it's uh, it's gritty it's it's kind of crazy the acting's fantastic and um yeah I'm really sad that this didn't last longer because this really should have should have lasted longer it's a really good show and now I'm gonna look out for season two so let me know if you've seen season two anywhere for a halfway decent price all right and the last two I got from Hamilton book our Blu-rays. First, I got the Valerian Borochik uh, collection. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing his name. Anyway, he made a lot of cool like shorts and crazy stuff, and there's a ton of shorts on this thing. There's 15 shorts on this thing, so I'm pretty happy. And I got this, I think, for a dollar. So, yeah. And not all of them. A couple of them are on YouTube, but about half of them aren't. So I'm pretty happy to have it. He's kind of experimental. You know, that kind of stuff. And finally, from Hamilton Book, I got one that I've actually been wanting to get for quite a while. And uh, I was actually surprised to see it on there. So I went ahead and just grabbed it because I never see this at a halfway decent price. So, and it's one you probably would be like, wait, what? And it's actually Panther. Uh, yeah, this, and, and it's, it has nerve to be a slipcover, too. <laughs> um. I used to work at a TV station. I used to work at UPN. And one Saturday or whatever, we used to show a bunch of movies. And this, uh, I showed this movie one day. And I was watching it. And I'm like, man, this is a really good movie. And I've been kind of like looking for a, a, a decent official copy ever since. And um, I'm glad I waited because I almost bought the DVD a long time ago. And I, and, but, but I waited. I'm like, I'm like, something will come better. And there we go. We got an on Blu-ray finally. Uh, of course, it is about the origins of the Black Panther Party and stuff like that. But it's a uh, highly recommended, very good, very, very good movie. And it uh, actually stars Kadeem Hardison. Yeah, Dwayne Wayne from a different world uh, in a very, very serious, very not Dwayne Wayne type of thing at all. Uh, but yeah, real good movie here. I'm happy to have it. All right, next up, we're going to do the second in Charles stuff. Uh, first up, I got to complete my physical media collection of the series. I got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Uh, yeah, it's the only one I didn't have, minus the brand new Netflix one, which I'm working on. Uh, but yeah, so I, I've only watched this one once. And people say this one's pretty good. From what I remember, it's just okay. Um, but I am going to give it another go, and we'll see where it falls. All right, and next up, uh, I was kind of surprised to see this at Second and Charles, uh, and I did get it for, I think, two or three bucks, something like that. But I got Psycho 2, 3, and 4. Despite the look of the cover, all the discs are fine. I checked them all. Um, so, yeah, these are all the Psycho sequels. Um, I've seen two and I think part of three. Yeah, I don't remember, but I do like two a lot. Two's pretty good, um, and I've never seen four, so I'm gonna finally get to check them all out. Uh, all Anthony Perkins, all good stuff. 
All right, next up, I saw this one, and it's about a uh, a dark ride. And if you don't know what a dark ride is, it's like an indoor ride, kind of like Disney, uh, you know, Walt Disney World, like those indoor rides. Anyway, this is a horror movie called Dark Ride. It's based around a dark ride. So, yeah, I had to get this one, right? I mean, yeah. And it's one of those uh, eight films to die for from the After Dark series. Uh, so yeah, I've no, I haven't watched it. I have no idea. Like again, again, I only paid a couple bucks for it, so I'm not too upset if it's not that great. But uh, the After Dark movies are actually usually pretty okay. So I went ahead and just bit the bullet and, and bought this one. And since we're on the topic of the After Dark Horror Fest, folks, I bought the collection of the After Dark Horror Fest three with the eight movies from that year. So it does have Autopsy, The Broken. Slaughter, The Butterfly Effect 3, Perkins 14, Dying Breed, From Within, and Voices. Now, I have seen I've seen Autopsy and Perkins 14, and they were they're both pretty decent. And like I said, again, I got this really cheap. So I just went ahead. I'm like, yeah, I'll take them all. <laughs> all right, and next up, I actually found a few older films as well. So this is a Val Luton horror double feature of I Walked with a Zombie and Body Snatcher. Body Snatcher stars Boris Karloff, which we'll talk about more in a minute. Um, I have seen both of these. Um, they are pretty good. Now, from what I remember, these uh, collections are, they're not the most crisp, uh, you know, video thing. So, so it will look very grainy and very, uh, stuff like that, but that, that's okay. As long as I have them not, now, I officially have these in the collection. Uh, I've, like I said, I've seen them both numerous times on TV, on TCM, and whatnot. So I finally have them. I'm pretty stoked about it. And since we're talking about Boris Karloff, this is a Boris Karloff Val Luton double feature of Isle of the Dead and Bedlam. I've seen I've, I've seen Isle of the Dead, but I've not seen Bedlam. Uh, so again, I, I saw these and I'm just like, I was like, man, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just have to, I just have to do it again <laughs> and again, really cheap. So I really couldn't pass them up and I'm a big Boris Karloff fan anyway. So they, uh, and again, since we're talking about Boris Karloff, I did get the Boris Karloff collection. Uh, it's called the franchise collection. That's what it says there. And it's five different movies on here, including Night Key, Tower of London, the Climax, The Strange Door, and The Black Castle. Now, this is a cool little case here. Uh, if I can get it out, I'd like to show you. See the little, kind of looks like that. And then when you pull it out, yes, yeah, it's, it's like that. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. I, I really do like this little, I like this little setup here. Yeah, you know, pretty cool. And these are uh, Universal movies. So, you know, this is a slightly higher quality than uh, a lot of the others. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's my big Boris Karloff haul for you. And I did get two more from Second and Charles. I got the Midnight Hour collection here with four different movies. Hoboken Hollow, Secrets of the Clown, Room 33, and Curtains. I already do have a copy of Curtains on Blu-ray, so I didn't need that one. Uh, I got this one mainly for the top two, uh, Secrets of the Clown and Hoboken Hollow. Uh, Hoboken Hollow features Dennis Hopper, so that's why I've actually been on the lookout for that one for quite a while. Um, and uh, like I said, saw the Second and Charles for a couple bucks, so I just grabbed it. And finally, from Second and Charles, I found a full moon movie called Doll Graveyard. Yeah, I love I love uh, the full moon like killer doll movies. Uh, they're fun, they're goofy, you know. So, uh, and again, I think I paid maybe two bucks for it, so can't beat that, right? All right, and the final batch of movies I'm going to show you today are actually from SRS. I got them directly from the website. They had a big sale, um, and I, so I did pick up a couple. Uh, first up, I got Gorgasm. Yeah, there you go, Gorgasm, which is the first in the Gore trilogy. Yes, indeed. So uh, this is like a SOV, uh, you know, like killer movie. But, you know... Since it is a trilogy, you know, I had to get part two, Gorotica, and part three, 
The Gore Whore. Yeah, how can you not love a movie called Gore Whore? Um, yeah, so I got all three. I did get all three of the Gore trilogy. Um, I haven't seen any of them. I've, I've only seen clips and the, you know, uh, the the trailers basically. Uh, but they do seem up my alley. They're real cheap and they're real, uh, they're real grimy and bloody and disgusting and you know all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I had to get, I had to grab these. I don't, I was compelled to buy these for some reason. So the first Blu-ray that I got is a complete blind buy for me, and it's called A Solitude of the Tormentors. Now, this is supposed to be sort of a, uh, one of those, like, extreme movies where it's, like, you know, super bloody and graphic and, and, and crazy and, yeah. So, um, I'm not the biggest fan of that type of stuff, but when it's done well, I'm, I'm kind of into it. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's just certain ones I like, certain ones I don't. Uh, so I'm going to give this one a try. It was pretty cheap, and, you know, it sounded really interesting. So I'll let you know how this is. It might be crazy. It might be awesome. It might be incredibly bad. I don't know, but we'll see. And finally, the last one. I've been actually wanting this one for years as well, and it was a pretty decent price on the sale. I think it was like half off. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger because I wanted it in the collection. And it is Truth or Dare or Critical Madness. Um, although a lot of the stuff just says Truth or Dare, it's actually Truth or Dare or Critical Madness. Um, this is an SOV from the like 86, 87 era. It's a it's it's sort of a slasher movie. Um, it is on YouTube, I believe. At least the last time I looked, it was on YouTube. Um if you want to check it out, but it's, it's, it's a crazy, crazy movie, uh, about this guy like going insane and killing people. Uh, it's a, it's really crude and really, uh, kind of out there, but I love it. And there's a bunch of sequels. I've seen this. I've seen some of the sequels. They're not very good. This one's awesome. I love this one. I've seen this one a couple of times. Uh, so I'm really happy to finally have this one in the collection. So there you have it. That is my haul for May, early June. Um, this was more than one trip to Second and Charles, and it was, you know, uh, a few different things. And I do have some more things coming that I'll show in a future video. Uh, but there you go. So uh, let me know which one, which ones have you seen? Which ones did you like? Which ones would you watch? And which ones do you want me to review? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, adios, Bella Lugosi.